Are you tired of feeling like your relationships are stuck in a rut? Do you wish you could understand your partner better and have a deeper, more meaningful connection? If so, then you need to check out Getting the Love You Want by Harville Hendricks. This book is for anyone who wants to improve their romantic relationships. Whether you're single and looking for love, or in a long-term partnership that could use some help, this book is packed with valuable insights and practical tools. The author, Harville Hendricks, is a renowned therapist and relationship expert who has helped countless couples transform their relationships. In this book, Hendricks introduces his groundbreaking theory of Imago relationship therapy, which is based on the idea that we unconsciously choose partners who embody the unresolved issues from our childhood. By understanding this dynamic and learning how to communicate effectively with our partners, we can create more loving and fulfilling relationships. If you want to deepen your connection with your partner, learn how to communicate more effectively, and create a more fulfilling relationship, then this book is for you. So don't wait any longer, check out Getting the Love You Want today and start your journey towards a happier and more loving relationship. Remember to watch the video till the end to learn more about how this book can transform your relationship. Have you ever felt like you're constantly in a cycle of failed relationships and wondering why you can't seem to find the right person? Getting the Love You Want by Harville Hendricks is a book that can help you find answers to these questions. It explores the idea of how childhood experiences shape our adult relationships and how we can use this knowledge to improve them. The book focuses on the concept of imago, which is essentially a blueprint of what we're attracted to in a partner based on our past experiences. Hendricks explains that we tend to choose partners who possess both the positive and negative qualities of our caregivers, which can result in conflict and disappointment. By understanding this pattern and working on ourselves, we can break free from it and find healthier relationships. The book offers practical tools and exercises that readers can use to identify and work through their own patterns, as well as improve communication and intimacy with their partners. By becoming more self-aware and developing a deeper understanding of our partners, we can create stronger and more fulfilling relationships. The Unconscious Marriage Explores the concept of the unconscious marriage. According to Hendricks, every couple brings their own unique set of expectations, needs, and desires into their relationship. These often stem from childhood experiences and are deeply ingrained in our unconscious minds. As a result, we may unknowingly recreate the same dynamics and patterns we experienced growing up. Applying the concepts of the unconscious marriage to everyday life can be challenging, but it's an essential step in building a happier, more fulfilling relationship. Couples can start by engaging in regular conversations about their childhood experiences and emotional needs. They can practice active listening and empathizing with each other's perspectives, rather than simply defending their own. By cultivating a deeper understanding of themselves and their partner, couples can begin to break free from old patterns and create a more conscious, fulfilling relationship. The Conscious Marriage this chapter focuses on the concept of a conscious marriage, which involves being aware of your behavior and communication patterns with your partner. To have a conscious marriage, you need to understand your own emotional baggage and learn how to communicate effectively with your partner. This involves being vulnerable and expressing your needs and feelings in a safe and respectful manner. One way to apply the principles of a conscious marriage is to practice active listening. This means fully engaging with your partner when they speak, and avoiding interrupting or making assumptions about what they are saying. It also involves being aware of your own triggers and reactions, and learning to respond in a way that promotes healthy communication. Another important aspect of a conscious marriage is creating shared goals and values. This involves having open and honest conversations about what you want in life, and finding ways to support each other in achieving those goals. Ultimately, the goal of a conscious marriage is to create a deeper, more meaningful connection with your partner. By being aware of your own behavior and communication patterns, and working to improve them, you can build a stronger and more fulfilling relationship with your partner. Romantic Love and the Power Struggle this chapter explains the concept of romantic love and how it often leads to a power struggle in relationships. 
It suggests that the way to overcome this struggle is to recognize that it is not about winning or losing, but about finding a solution that works for both partners. The Drama of the Amago Have you ever noticed that you keep attracting the same type of partner in your relationships? Do you ever wonder why that is? The Drama of the Amago is a chapter in getting the love you want that can help you answer those questions and improve your relationships. Amago is a term that describes the image of our ideal partner that is formed in childhood. According to the author, we all have an unconscious image of our ideal partner based on the characteristics of the people who raised us. This image is then projected onto our partners in adulthood, and we unconsciously try to recreate the same dynamics we experienced as children. This may sound like a recipe for disaster, but the good news is that becoming aware of our amigo can help us make positive changes in our relationships. By understanding our patterns and why we are attracted to certain partners, we can start to make conscious choices and break out of the cycle. For example, if you grew up with a critical parent, you may find yourself attracted to partners who are also critical. Once you realize this pattern, you can work on changing your attraction to critical partners and instead seek out partners who are supportive and kind. Another example is if you grew up with an absent parent, you may find yourself attracted to partners who are emotionally unavailable. Understanding this pattern can help you work on your own emotional availability and seek out partners who are also emotionally available. By becoming aware of our amigo and patterns, we can break free from the past and create healthier, more fulfilling relationships in the present. It takes time and effort, but the results are worth it. So, take some time to reflect on your own patterns and see if the amigo concept resonates with you. With awareness and intention, you can create the loving, fulfilling relationships you deserve. The Space Between Hendricks suggests that the key to bridging the space between is to recognize that it exists and to acknowledge the feelings that arise because of it. Rather than ignoring it or pushing it away, couples need to embrace it and work through it together. This means being vulnerable with each other and sharing their true feelings, even if they are difficult to express. One practical exercise that couples can do to work through the space between is to set aside time each day to talk openly and honestly with each other. This could be as simple as sharing your thoughts and feelings about your day or as deep as discussing your fears, hopes, and dreams. The important thing is to listen actively, without judgment, and to validate each other's emotions. Another technique that Hendricks recommends is mirroring which involves repeating back what your partner says to you to ensure that you understand them correctly. This not only helps to clarify any misunderstandings, but also shows your partner that you are truly listening to them and value what they have to say. By recognizing the space between and actively working to bridge it, couples can deepen their connection and build a stronger, more fulfilling relationship. Rediscovering the joy of play According to Hendricks, play is essential for maintaining emotional connections with your partner, and it helps you stay present in the moment. One way to apply the concept of play is to incorporate it into your daily routines. For example, try setting aside time each day for a fun activity with your partner, such as playing a board game, taking a dance class, or even just going for a walk together. This can help you both feel more connected and engaged with each other and can also help reduce stress and anxiety. Another way to rediscover the joy of play is to cultivate a sense of curiosity and wonder in your relationship. Try approaching your partner with an open mind and a willingness to explore new experiences and ideas together. This can help keep your relationship fresh and exciting, and can also help deepen your emotional connection over time. The concept of play in getting the love you want emphasizes the importance of having fun and staying present in your relationship. By incorporating play into your daily routines and cultivating a sense of curiosity and wonder, you can rediscover the joy of play and deepen your emotional connection with your partner. Keeping the love you find The key to keeping the love alive is to continue working on yourself and your relationship. Hendricks suggests that you should always be open to learning new things about yourself and your partner. Keep communication open and honest, and continue to work through any issues that come up. One way to do this is to make sure you take time for your relationship. 
Schedule regular date nights or weekend getaways where you can focus on each other and rekindle your connection. Hendricks also emphasizes the importance of self-care. When you take care of yourself, you are better able to show up as your best self in your relationship. This could mean taking time for hobbies, exercise, or meditation. Finally, remember to celebrate your successes. It's important to acknowledge when you have made progress and to celebrate the milestones in your relationship. By following these suggestions, you can keep the love you find and make it stronger over time. Whether you're in a long-term relationship or just starting out, it's important to keep working on your relationship to keep it healthy and happy. Beyond the Power Struggle The final chapter discusses how a conscious relationship can lead to personal growth and transformation. It suggests that building a conscious relationship can help partners heal old wounds and become the best version of themselves. Overall, getting the love you want is a comprehensive guide to building a conscious and loving relationship. It provides practical tools and insights for couples to overcome the challenges they face and build a strong and fulfilling partnership. So, whether you're single and looking for love, or in a committed relationship that could use some improvement, getting the love you want can offer valuable insights and guidance. By applying the principles in the book, you can break free from old patterns, heal past wounds, and create the loving relationship you deserve. Getting the Love You Want by Harville Hendricks is a book that can help individuals who are struggling to find or maintain healthy romantic relationships. It can help those who want to improve their communication skills, emotional connection, and intimacy with their partners. The book also addresses common relationship issues such as power struggles, lack of trust, and unresolved childhood wounds that can affect adult relationships. Additionally, the book can be useful for those who are not currently in a relationship but are interested in exploring their personal growth and healing in order to prepare themselves for future relationships. The book can help readers identify patterns of behavior that may be hindering their ability to form healthy relationships and provide tools for personal transformation. Getting the Love You Want is a valuable resource for anyone looking to improve their romantic relationships build stronger emotional connections with their partners, and explore personal growth and healing. Thanks for watching our video about Getting the Love You Want by Harville Hendricks. This book has helped countless couples and individuals find deeper, more fulfilling relationships by guiding them on a journey of self-discovery and understanding. By exploring the unconscious motivations behind our behaviors and relationships, we can make positive changes and create the love we truly desire. Remember, love is a journey, and it's never too late to start working on your own personal growth and improving your relationships. So go ahead, grab a copy of this book, and start your journey towards getting the love you want today.